From the early age of biking, rim brakes have dominated the bike braking system. These brake mechanisms are mounted on the frame near the wheel's upper part, offering reliability and effectiveness for traditional biking. However, disc brakes have recently emerged, turning the tables with their exceptional stopping power and efficient mechanism. While disc brakes were initially found only on mountain bikes and a few road bikes, now we see their presence on bikes of all categories. That's why in today's video we'll explain the differences and similarities of both braking systems and why you might want to pick one over the other. The terms disc and rim brakes derive their names from the specific areas where they apply braking force. We commonly see disc brakes on cars, motorcycles, and lorries. They exert braking force onto a rotor that's mounted on the wheel's hub. On the other hand, a rim brake applies braking force directly to the rim of the wheel itself. In the disc brake system, brake pads squeeze against the disc when the brakes are engaged and generate tight friction that slows down the wheel's rotation. But rim brakes work differently. When you pull the lever, they exert pressure on the brake pads and press against the rim. This action creates friction, which in turn results in the deceleration of your wheel. According to our user experience, when we use rim brakes constantly, the tire rim gets heated quickly and directly impacts braking efficiency. When it comes to bike compatibility, disc brakes clearly take the lead, although both braking systems offer different options for you. Disc brakes have become increasingly popular and are now available on various bike types. Whether you're up to buying a mountain bike, road bike, hybrid bike, or even a commuter city bike, you'll find disc brake options on each of them. Meanwhile, rim brakes have been a traditional bicycle choice and are still commonly used on many bike models. If you have a road bike, an older mountain bike, or a city bike, there's a good chance your bike is already equipped with rim brakes. But nowadays, cyclists prefer disc brakes when buying a new model. Even some newer bike models come with frame and fork mounts specifically designed for disc brakes and make installation relatively easy. Also, if you have a bike with rim brakes, it might be possible to upgrade to disc brakes if the necessary mounts are present. We believe that rim brakes were effective in their time, but now disc brakes have taken a significant leap forward regarding bike compatibility. Rim brakes are usually positioned near the top of the fork for the front brake and at the top of the seat stay for the rear brake. If you're considering the advantages of rim brakes, it's important to note that they are easier to maintain, have a user-friendly design, and offer lower initial costs. One significant advantage of rim brakes over disc brakes is their lighter weight. Although you'll get exceptionally lightweight disc brake options in the market, they often come at a higher price tag. In general, a comparable rim brake setup will be a few hundred grams lighter than a disc brake setup. To talk about the disc brakes, they have great modulation capabilities. You can feather the brakes lightly or forcefully and anywhere in between, just like using the brakes in your car. They give you precise control over your braking, whether you're gradually approaching a traffic signal or encountering a sudden obstacle on the road. We appreciate the braking flexibility. It will help you to ride smoothly, maintaining utmost safety. 
One notable advantage of the disc brakes is their powerful stopping power, while requiring less force at the lever. But the rim brake is lacking here. Day by day, they start showing inefficiency in braking response. You can effortlessly apply the disc brakes to achieve your desired braking force and deceleration. This is useful for riders of all levels, including kids, beginners, and older individuals. Moreover, disc brakes excel in various weather conditions, such as rain, sleet, and mud. Unlike rim brakes, which may struggle in changing weather, disc brakes consistently deliver reliable braking performance. So, you won't have to worry about adjusting your braking technique in unpredictable weather conditions. According to our riding experience, disc brakes' consistent braking performance will make your every ride safer and more reliable, regardless of the weather. Also, you can customize the disc brake rotors to your preferences. You will get the flexibility to select rotors that provide more or less stopping power. We think it will help you to fine-tune your braking performance to your liking and riding style. One thing you'll love about the disc brakes is their pads are smaller and more tightly adjusted than rim brakes. You will be benefited from this design as it keeps water and grit out of the braking system. However, it also makes servicing the disc brakes more challenging. And if the disc brake rotor becomes bent or slightly misaligned somehow, it can cause brake rub or squealing. Many riders have experienced these problems with their disc brakes. On the other hand, rim brakes do not encounter such difficulties. However, these kinds of issues happen after any accidental scenarios or else it's pretty rare. After all the discussions, we can say that disc brakes offer undeniable advantages over rim brakes, but it's important to consider the trade-offs. While disc brakes provide better performance, they can be more challenging to set up and service, and they are heavier than rim brakes. Additionally, bikes equipped with disc brakes tend to be more expensive. However, if you're a home mechanic or a fair weather rider, or if you want to keep your repair costs low on a daily basis, the rim brake is the answer. However, there is a question that arises about safety and efficiency. So, if you only crave more response, better modulation, safety, and reliability in all weather conditions, disc brakes will always have their place and will be the best option to match the speed of the fast-paced cycling world.